This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Houston, we got no problems today. We want to talk about stream channels. So, stream channels. Now, the stream channel, if you think about it, is just it's the it's the width of the stream, right? This is the stream channel of this river. Okay, and then there's and it has some variations. So this is the place where the, the stream normally lives. Normally, because it doesn't always follow its stream channel. And there are two kinds of stream channels. There's the bedrock channel or an alluvial. Now, as a note, alluvial is going to have two subparts. We'll get to that in a little bit later. But the bedrock, what's up with the bedrock channel? So the bedrock channels are made of bedrock or basically impervious rock, rock that's very difficult. Not, not, not every rock is impervious. It will break down. But you see this is a hard rock. And so when you get the hard rock, it tends to find really, really well-defined channels. So the bedrock channels are the rivers that are going to, well, not always stick to their channel, but they're going to be, how do I say this? Uh, they're going to be uh, difficult to erode. So maybe the, the, the thing to understand, these are difficult to erode. Then everything will erode, OK? Not made up of lots of channels. These tend to be upstream, up in the mountains, right? These are the, the ones at the top of the mountain, not down in the valley, okay? So the alluvial channel, though, the alluvial channels are ones that are primarily consisted of sediment, all right? Uh, and they tend to be in the valleys, and that's, that's the key to understanding an alluvial channel, so make sure you jot that down. And there's two kinds of alluvial channels. Remember, we talked about that just a minute ago. There's a meandering and a braided. And the difference between meandering and braided has to do with the type of material that it's being transported, and then it changes the shape of it. Meandering tends to be small particles, so they tend to be clay and silt. And braided channels tend to have, we would say, more coarse or larger, like sand, etc. Larger particles, the braided rivers, and, the, and what the, it carries changes the shape of it. So that's cool. So a meandering river is like this. It's like a curvy river. Oh, ha! Ah, they curve, and they meander back and forth. Right? That's a meandering stream. Now, here's another example of a meandering stream, but something weird. Take a look at this. We've got the cool meander. Oh, no, no, no. What's up with these? What is that? We see a weird pat a horseshoe pattern. What's going on with that? You know, that used to be a part of the river. These are actually called oxbow lakes. This happens in meandering streams. Remember, they have small particles. And how did that work? Well, let's watch it through. This is what it first starts as. Here is the first meandering stream. Now, we haven't really talked about this, but if you think about this, the river goes here. And the part that erodes first is it's moving fastest here. And it erodes away this portion right here. And then it erodes away this portion right here. And over time, this river gets further to the left, in this case. So it makes it widens the curve. And then, of course, it widens the curve in this way. But then it keeps widening the curve and widening the curve. Do you see what's happening here? And then it makes this. But at a certain point, these two buggers meet. And when they meet, it changes the flow. And guess what you make? You make an oxbow lake. So you find this pattern all over the world where you see oxbow lakes and meandering streams. So, but what's a braided channel? Now, we said it, I guess, already. This is where you, in a braided channel, you've got larger, more coarse material, right? But what does it look like? You see, a braided channel doesn't have that meandering whatever look. It is braided. Uh, you know, people who braid their hair, it's a complex, like, uh, weave, right? So this one goes here and here. And he, it, they're all over the place, right? So this is a braided channel, and it's, it doesn't follow the pattern. It's a sort of its own little weird pattern, because since the, the materials are coarser, they break things down, and they're just cutting things such more rapidly. So a braided channel looks differently and has to do the key thing with the size. So that's, that, that's it for uh, understanding how stream channels. Key thing is there's, there's bedrock and alluvial, but alluvial has both braided and meandering. You guys are awesome. We'll see you in class.